Hey everybody, welcome back to What the Hell, Vedica. Today we are with my friends from Drop Music Branding. Join Mike Janda and guests to discuss the things that make creative people say, what the hell, Vedica. We have Gabo and Dahl and Mao. That is so good. It's so good to have you guys on and I love the creative names. Dahl, Dahl, what is, it, what is your full name? Uh, my full name is Dalmiro. It's uh, Dalmiro. From Dalmiro. Yeah. And Gabriel, I, obviously, I know that one. And yeah, Mal, what yeah. is your full name? What's your? <clears throat> my full name is very hard for English speakers to say, but the full name is Mauro. Mauro, like that. Mauro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got it right. Yeah. Entonces está bien. Está bien. Yeah. Right? It's a good Spanish. Yeah. yeah. Perfecto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfecto. <laughs> okay, so Drop Music Branding, they are audio branding agency. Brands communicate their beliefs with their stakeholders at every touch point. They do this in a multi-sensorial way. But what if sound and music are missing? We at Drop Music Branding analyze a brand's needs to create the perfect sound universe. Through which brands can share their beliefs in a consistent way. Drop music branding. We create your sound. And there are not very many of these audio branding agencies out and about. And so when I started this podcast, this is the kind of thing that I want to be talking about are some of these unique things in the industry that a lot of times people aren't thinking about. And um, you guys are filling a niche. How many, what's your competitive landscape like? Like what, how many other companies do you find yourself up against on projects? Well, first of all, I want to say hello. Thank you, Mike, for having us. It's, it's wonderful thank you. to be I here. I just want you right into questions. So thank <laughs> no, you no, no problem. Here. I just want to be thankful. You know, it's, uh, we really love your content well, and, and, and really admire you. you. So thanks. Um, well, thank so, you. We've been friends for a long time, like five years now. Yeah, it's been yeah. We go, we go that way we've back. We've known each yeah. other. So. <laughs> yeah, way, way yes. back. Yep. That's that's great. And and you know this globalization world, you know, it's it's amazing. And it's so great. Which also leads me to your question. You know, we we know the landscape. We work around the world with this uh, globalized. <laughs> You know, music. There's no frontier for music, so we can. It, it's a, there's a saying that it's the universal language. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. So um, that's that's the thing. You know, it's there are not so many audio branding specialized agencies. We the yeah. the ones that we've known are much bigger agencies, like this this business model of being. You know the biggest, the 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 greatest, and we just uh, mm -hmm. focused on being boutique and and really personal. You know, we we are all about tailor made, and and doing yeah. every single detail of everything that you know. Uh, sound is usually a little bit overlooked in in communications yeah. in general. So we are kind of uh, weird bugs. <laughs> yeah. You can yeah. say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, and we do it. Everything is done by, by ourselves. So uh, we receive the brief and we execute the brief. There's no, there's no chance to have a broken telephone down the line. Yeah. Besides in these creative yeah. processes, it's so hard. It becomes a, a very abstract thing and concept, you know, representing a, a brand's personality through sound, right? And, mm -hmm. and we just have like four seconds to do that <laughs> so it becomes like yeah. uh, 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 something a little bit weird what i was I, I i'm ranting a little bit over the place so i'm going to go back to your question yeah. um i think there are some big agencies we generally make pitches among other two agencies maybe but mm. There are not so many in Latin America, you know. It's like we are quite mm -hmm. divided, <laughs> which is great because yeah. there are nuances, you know. Yeah, but, but, uh, also, yeah. it's a very specific niche because maybe we get to know uh, 
other other people doing the same thing, but they also include maybe uh, pub publicity, or advertising, or exactly. maybe music for, yeah. I don't know. We are kind of all in in audio branding, and the conclusion we came across with the guys was we are actually a branding agency, and the music is our vehicle to, to get to point A to point yeah. B. But what, what we are communicating yeah. is always about the about the brands, right? Yeah, yeah. We kind of yeah. developed a system that it's it's like a branding agency. The thing is, it's not visual; mm -hmm. it's sound, right? So that's the main difference. But all the rest is because we actually work a lot with branding agencies. There are our clients. Yeah. Yeah, that's what mostly happens. We have you have the branding agencies. Ah. When they need audio, they they need to outsource it. There are a few that have like an in-house in-house music team, but mostly mm -hmm. our our work we we team up with these branding agencies and they they give give us this audio part and we go through all their process and exactly. behind all their strategy we support that. And we kind of give it a, a finish, right? Yeah, to we execute that strategy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we yeah we support it and that's we a good yeah. No, see, Michael. Yeah, that's a good strategy for you to go to those branding agencies as an outsource partner because a lot of them don't have in-house. It's rare that exactly. an agency is going to have an in-house audio team. Typically. They're going to have in-house video team before they have an audio team. They're going to have an in-house yeah. photography yeah. team before they have an audio team. They'll have in-house media buyers. Like almost everything is going to be done in-house <laughs> before they would bring in audio branding. So you're filling, really, you're filling a super hyper niche <laughs> that yeah, yeah. most agencies exactly. don't have staffed. Yeah. Besides, yeah. it's it's uh, really quite good. It's quite well. Yeah, I kind of uh, saw that opportunity when when I I kind of have a theory about it. You know, I used to work on on a TV station for many long years here in Argentina, mm -hmm. one of the main TV stations, and and I realized that as medium changes, communication medium changes, and this social media explosion, brands started to the feel the need to communicate more often, right? You are now supposed to communicate yeah. quite as having a, a, a powerhouse com of communication within your brand. You know, you need to communicate every week, almost every day. So they yeah. are starting to have uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, company structure that is more similar to companies that were in the entertainment business, where they would because of their service, uh, create content, right? So uh, yeah. within the TV stations, you have the sound department, of course, and the music supervision, and the, because that's what they do. So now every brand yeah. is starting to have this little the communication department, and they what are they going to do? They are going to fill in, how you said first, visuals, uh, graphics, motion, video, <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we are always the last, but yeah. not least, you know, when yeah. you are communicating yeah. a video, it's 50% motion and visuals and 50% sound. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, yeah. you know, there's a gap in there and we want to yeah. rule it. <laughs> yeah, you can see it this way. Yeah. That's good. <clears throat> Every brand. Yeah. Going back to the why are we so little, so few that are doing exactly yeah. this niche? You can say every brand has a logo and some kind of design or brand design, but you can count very few with audio branding developed, especially for that. So you have uh, not every brand uses audio branding or, or maybe they do, but they don't do it consciously. So right. yeah, we like to think like yeah. since it's everything is video now, everybody's doing audio branding but some of them are applying the brand strategy behind it, and some of them are leaving it to the lack of the video editor. Or what might the publicity yeah. agency would like for, the for that specific communication? Yeah. So what we're trying to see, if there's an opportunity there to apply the brand strategy yeah. and to make the brand even stronger through another medium. Yeah. I think that's really common that people are 
leaving it to the video editor. They just assume that it's part of the video edit, that you're going to yeah. add the sound well, pieces yeah, to it. Exactly. How hard is the sell for you to convince somebody who is just going to let the video editor do it? How do you go about selling somebody on having you do it instead? Well, I, I kind of failed introducing myself to uh, advertisement industry because we you know, there's, it's a lot of about connections and, you know, so I couldn't make it mm -hmm. happen. But when I realized we were actually doing audio branding and, and uh, we didn't know it, that we were doing that, but we were doing this TV station audio branding, I yeah. realized that brand communications, it's, it's a bigger umbrella, you know, advertisements uh, fall under this communication <coughs> umbrella. And it's it's uh, mm -hmm. basically uh, one of the brand uh, expressions, right? So, what mm -hmm. what are you doing when you communicate as a brand? You are saying I am saying this message, right? So, the mm -hmm. branding part is the 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 distinctive assets that make your brand sound like your brand. So, what would you do? Would you rather support the product or support your brand or both? But you know, you don't you need to say you are this brand, right? So I figure out that my sell to these people that are leaving this important communication to uh, somebody that in the best scenario possible is going to choose a, a music piece that supports the message of his work but not the entire yeah. brand, right? So I would say, yeah. why, are, why are you doing this? It's like, it's nuts. Mm. We created a system where we, we develop, uh, uh, we go from, from the most condensed idea to the bigger picture, right? So we create a, mm -hmm. a signature, a sound signature, an audio logo, right? Whatever you call it. It's like we create mm -hmm. this distinctive melody that then we replicate in other assets. You know, maybe it's a bank. Mm -hmm. So if, suppose my client is a bank, we, we've done a lot. You have a call center, right? So you need an IVR that is going to play the melody that is the same melody, but in another uh, scenario, energy, scenario. right? Oh, it's yeah. another touch point. It's another audible mm -hmm. touch point. What we need in this design is to people to be calm. Right, so it's going to be, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe strings, right? Or a, a chantal piano. But if you are mm -hmm. doing a commercial, uh, it's the same bank, and you need to grab people's attention, so you are going to use that same melody, but I don't know, maybe a guitar, right? So mm -hmm. we kind mm -hmm. of create this sound universe for brands to express and, and have and, and still be perceived as one identity. Yeah, we like yeah. we like to show the client. I see that. Uh, I, I, yeah, sorry, we like to show the, the no. client the, the yeah. opportunity that they are missing out if they are they are not matching out the the sound with the brand energy or strategy. And we we provide some yeah. examples. Like imagine like my voice would change every day. Like I I would talk to you and you wouldn't know who who you are talking to. And yeah. I would like to pro portray yeah. that example. And and even so. Um, when we're talking about different versions of the same song, we like to exemplify it by you don't wear the same clothes to every place. You might wear a, a suit mm -hmm. for a wedding. You might wear, um, for example, a, a hoodie if you're going to have a workout, but you're still the same person. A swimming suit to the beach. Mm -hmm. A swimming suit to the beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, we like to... Yeah, to, so, to, yeah go oh, ahead, Mike. Go ahead. I was just going to say, I, I listen to a lot of movie music, movie soundtracks, like when exactly. I'm working. And you see that the theme, like yeah. on Batman Begins or something, you know, the Hans Zimmer soundtrack. And the theme is used throughout almost every song, but sometimes exactly. it's with drums and yep. guitar. And sometimes it's just peaceful in the background, but it's this theme that keeps repeating. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I thought about when you were talking about coming up with that melody yeah. that becomes mm -hmm. kind of the tent pole piece of their audio branding and exactly, then expanding Mike. that into how it's implemented. 
Yeah. That's 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 exactly the yeah. concept, you know. It's that that's where we come from. Yeah. We come from creating music for films and TV and uh, uh, certain mm. programs. So you are trying to condense that movie theme, you know, that those characters for uh, in a movie it's a yeah. character, but in a brand yeah. it's the 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 logo, right? Or maybe, brand personality, yeah, or brand personalities, yeah. or different touch yeah, points, or maybe you have a mascot, you know. Yeah. So we we have that concept from from film scoring, which is very well accurate from your side, but also it tells you a story, yeah. you know. It's familiar. Yeah, you you get it. You yeah. don't need to figure too many things out, and that's how yeah. you leave a pattern for people to recognize and that's when you have a strong yeah. identity. Yeah, you can even in film you yeah, can even I, I, sorry, in film you can even have like a preview or something that it's gonna happen but hasn't that does it didn't happen yet yet. Like right. for example in Star Wars before Han Solo and the Princess have a kiss, they have they have a leitmotif yeah. for, for those that relationship And, and the, yeah. the composer, uh, John Williams, lets you know that they are going to have a romance before the first kiss. Yeah. And, and it's giving you a hint yeah. only through the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And the music, once you come up with that theme or the, the, the style, the music ties everything together. And I think that this is an interesting uh, uh, mindset for branding people that when you look at a movie and you see the score, if you listen to the score of a movie and you see the similarities in the melody lines that consist are consistent throughout all of the, the different songs that are part of this soundtrack, when you apply it to the movie, now all of a sudden every scene in the movie seems to tie together and fit together. And in branding, for corporate branding or, or product branding or per personal branding, Most of us aren't thinking about that. Most of us aren't yeah. thinking about that last little piece of branding. I did so many freaking style guides over <laughs> my career, and not once did we ever have an audio branding section in the style guide. And now, right now, as I'm talking to you guys, I feel stupid. Like, I feel like, <laughs> why? How did I miss that humongous piece of what goes into a brand? How did we miss that? Well, and I think every designer, creative, creative branding expert or brand strategist, whoever's talked or listening to this, start thinking about adding that little piece to your brand manual that you offer to your clients. And if nothing else, find samples of on Epidemic Sound or Envato exactly. or whatever, Artlist.io mm -hmm. or whatever, wherever you can find your get licenses to music tracks and sound effects, at least have a mood board of some kind, an audio mood board of some kind as part of your deliverables for a brand identity project. I think that's a big miss with most creatives. I mean, if, if you got the, the personality traits like spot on, I think the, the video editor or the guy that is gonna choose the music can rely on that to kind of guide it itself. But you can get really specific. You can start talking about which tonalities, which tempos you can use, which instrumentation you can use, and mm -hmm. tie it all that to the to the personality of the brand, to the colors. We use the colors a, a lot in well, in providing like for the col color. It's it's energy. If you got bright and and and, mm -hmm. and flashy colors like red, like the Coca Cola of red, it's like it's high energy. And, and you might have a blue, yeah. a really light blue, like the, the airlines do it, or, or maybe in the planes, the, the, the light blue color on the plane is for you to calm down. And, and you can grab that yeah. color and, and yeah. translate it to music, to calm music, slower tempos. Yeah, yeah. I, I, w I would say Interesting. that I really, I really like what you said, Mike. I think there's an opportunity, you know, there's a gap to fill, there's something that most designers and design agencies are missing here on, on branding. Mm -hmm. I think that there are also a lot and they're increasingly doing it more. You know, it's, we are here on, a, on an audio branding wave that it's getting bigger, which is great. 
you know, big mm -hmm. agencies, like mm -hmm. we said before, big agencies already have their their in-house or they bought an, an audio branding agency, you know, I don't know, Lander and Fitch, mm -hmm. they, they mm -hmm. got theirs, you know. So I think there is a, a, a increasing, growing niche in this. It's also a mm -hmm. quite uh, a difficult niche in, in, in because of the skill sets you need to have, right? You need to understand yeah. and support a strategy, a branding strategy through the sound and you need to uh, express a uh, personality with arguments. Everything is yeah. about mm -hmm. the why we decide. You know, it must be rational in some it's, way. Yeah, you yeah. need to explain your yeah. your client why did you, for example they they need something reliable and some sound with a classical tone and you can rely on this. We are usually tend to use like a piano or some strings or something that is a noble. Uh, tested throughout this history instrument and that provide you know each mm -hmm. sound gives you some uh, association in your head yeah and we there's have a, there's a lot of science behind it yeah sorry yeah we have a hard time mm -hmm. sometimes trying to rationalize it and explain it to, to the client because they need to maybe they don't understand music but if you go and 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 explain it like step by step and isolating each track and explaining why this why that that is a huge part of our job and uh, i mm -hmm. don't know yeah it does yeah and, and not and not an easy one you know we've we've been encountering we've been targeting for corporate you know brands right so we've been increasingly working yeah. with bigger and bigger brands because that's where we think uh, the money is actually, you know, bigger brands, bigger yeah. budgets, yeah. And bigger value of, it's yeah. just like a logo. You, if you are creating a yeah. logo for a startup, you have a range of prices that it's different from a corporation or a multinational mm -hmm. company, right? So mm -hmm. when, when we find these yeah, marketing nobody teams- Nobody with a $50 logo budget Nobody yeah, with a fifty dollar logo budget is looking to spend three thousand dollars on audio branding on top exactly, of that. Exactly. Exactly. Not, if not if somebody so has, a certain <laughs> maybe uh, backwards, yeah. like <laughs> spend fifty bucks on audio branding, maybe three thousand dollars on on brand on visual branding. Exactly, exactly. They'll spend fifty bucks on the audio piece. Yeah, because well, all, what do you think? What, what's yeah, the sorry. threshold of of price ranges where people start to budget for audio branding well we've we've it depends of course we it depends on on the project but yeah we've we've done a lot you know from podcasts which uh, that's how yeah. we actually met you know we came across the community we created yeah. i think the jacob cass and, and matt davis show just creative yeah you know yeah. that podcast and yeah from that we kind of uh, launched our podcast pack you know it's like okay let's do this yeah. which are really yeah. really entertaining to do because you are a little bit more free right than with the bank mm -hmm. right with the bank mm -hmm. is like we need mm -hmm. to convey trust that's it <laughs> okay yeah bring me the piano yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> bring me, bring me the what, black what's piano your again. background what what is your background how much of it is in music and music theory and these kinds of things versus the technical side the the engineer audio engineer side okay that's what, great what, what, what kind of background does somebody need to to get into this okay okay <laughs> i love that question because mm -hmm. i i think i wouldn't i would say that the best thing we have is our partnership you know the, we function as are bigger than each of the parts, which is crazy. Uh, uh, the yeah. video here yeah. you studied, tell, tell your background, please. <laughs> okay, I, I went to music school here in Buenos Aires, and then I applied for Berkeley in Boston, and I went there and did a Ooh. performance, because wow. I, I didn't want to uh, stop playing my instrument. Uh, but yeah. once I returned and started doing this, it's more more music recording and sound design of course all the composition stuff it's really yeah. helpful because uh the, the genres and uh, the arrangements <laughs> the skill 
uh, it's really helpful, but most of the time it's it's mainly like sound design and mixed with composition. And then I also yeah. do all the finance stuff, all the, the thing with the invoices and all that stuff. But that was learning as we go. Somebody need, needed to that's, do it. Yeah. That's the business entrepreneurial side yeah. of, of things. On yes, the entrepreneurial that's what you got to figure. Things, somebody has to solve that, and <laughs> it might as well be you. <laughs> exactly. Well, I yeah. got to sales, da, da, man. <laughs> what, what was your instrument, Dal? Uh, guitar. Uh, I did guitar. Guitar. Oh, that's guitar. awesome. Now yeah. uh, I find myself playing bass, guitar, and keys. Cause yeah. key, keyboard, it's huh. like uh, it's it's really helpful for working and to working with the computer, and it's like a, you use it like as a controller yeah. to, to interact with the computer. He's the music yeah. theory professor. A MIDI, you know, MIDI like, controller for synth. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Mom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, I met I met for the first time knew these guys and. 2004, 2004. 2004. Yep. <laughs> it's a hard one. And we wow. get to know each other, yeah, <laughs> like more than 20 years ago, studying music in EMBA, which is a school of music of Buenos Aires here in Argentina. We, we met there and we studied together. And well, it, at some point, Dal went to, to Boston, but we kept here in Buenos Aires. So we learned about theory and instrument and the business and it was kind of a berkeley style kind of school uh, which had a, a little bit of everything with you know music composition mm -hmm. on, on software and they taught us maybe some things about production and dos and all the technical stuff so mm -hmm. we learned a lot those years then uh, i happened to start working with disney at the, at the facilities where they recorded some series here in argentina they they did a couple of uh, series for Disney Channel here in Latin America, mm. and I was there in charge of the music team. So we made like versions for the for the for the scenes, and then I had to record the actors and and coach them, and then go to the set and speak to the director and tell him mm. this take would we, wouldn't work. Uh, let's uh, let me try another one, or you should not point at this hand because he couldn't. Uh, shape the chords. Yeah, shape the chords and played played okay. So it was a, it mm. was years of of polishing all the the aspects of music in the entertainment uh, business. And then from from there to now, we well we found the drop music <laughs> branding. So right. I will give Gabo the mm. the moment okay. for his background. Okay, <laughs> so. I, I would start by saying I was a terrible student. <laughs> I'm the kind of people oh, that yeah. it's hands on, you know. I need to be, uh, you know, boots on the ground doing stuff. You need to have the necessity to. Yeah, yeah. To I, 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 I got to do it, actually, do it. So uh, we studied together. I know that since we were seven years old, you know, it's, we, it's like brothers. Second grade. Yeah. yeah. And, and wow. I used to play drums. And I studied production, on, you know, like uh, working on, on the recording studio, and that was great for me. But again, I, I kind of changed, you know, it, there, there was a, a switch that flipped when I started working, uh, actually working, you know, my first job was in this TV station, which I immediately crashed and, and, and started doing, saw an opportunity to, of, of doing the music for this TV station within six months of mm -hmm. being there, right? It was like crazy. <coughs> we were 25 years yeah. old and with Mauro, we didn't know how to do it, but we jumped on the opportunity and did it while <laughs> Dal was in Boston, right? Yeah. You know, that entrepreneurial yeah. side of things. And and that, that was when I, I understood that I needed to it's like I'm a producer, you know, it's like I, I, I understood how to communicate. I understood that we were doing branding and I just wanted to live out of music, mm -hmm. right? So make a living out of music was already a, a, yeah. a heavy war to wage, you know. So kind yeah. of went all in into, into sales. Sales, yeah, sales, man. <laughs> no, that was, yeah. And also that's, into reading audio branding books, the few that you yeah, found. Yeah, I kind of uh, specialized in this 
communication slash branding knowledge, which is through the mm -hmm. music, you know, it's like, it's a little bit of marketing, a little bit of understanding what we are looking for, a lot of psychology and science behind this, you know, it's, there's, mm -hmm. there's a lot uh, going on, which I'm really passionate about. It's like, this is really yeah. interesting for me. It's a lot more than just, ooh, that sounds cool. And then let's use that. Right. It's, right. it's a lot more than just the, oh, it sounds cool perspective. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and yeah. there's a lot of educational <clears throat> stuff, as, as you were saying. I need to be able to communicate and interpret what this person that doesn't know nothing about music thinks they want. And I teach them what they need and convince them, right? It's, it's yeah. a hard part of the work. You know, presenting and, and saying yeah. we did this because this is what you need, not what you say you need. <coughs> yeah, so but that's another it's yeah. another episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's really hard. Yeah. It's it's really a subjective medium. So sometimes it's really hard to to tell the guy, uh, uh, the chief of the marketing um, on the side of the client, that they need a specific type of music and not the music that he might like to listen on his time off. Yeah. Yeah. How much, um, or, or what's, what's your sales process and how much, how much survey goes into it? Do you ever do market survey where you play two different things and have people uh, and get audience feedback or, or target customer feedback, qualitative and quantitative research? Do you do that yeah. to try and prove that one one jingle is better than another one? Yeah, we know those services. We don't usually use them because of a, a structure yeah. kind of stuff. You know, if if they are not willing to pay <coughs> for us to produce, they are not willing to pay a focus group to, to test it. You know, it's like, yeah, uh, it, it's a little bit harder. I know that uh, people in Europe are doing these tests. Of course, now they are doing it with AI which is crazy and, yeah. and you need to you need to understand with that they actually actually the other day we spoke with some guys that actually did some tests on on your brain of audience while you were listening to this and we were figuring out how yeah. could we collaborate together you know because <laughs> that's it yeah. that's actually what you're saying and they told us that the yeah. brain needs like a 20 minutes music piece to actually grab the data, you know? To grab so, something useful. Really? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. these audio logos are really short. I think what we tend to do is work with some um, advertising agencies and they test it, you know, and if yeah. we win, we can, yeah. you know, those, are, it's more of a... a advertisement industry way of yeah, doing it. Yeah, there are two stages yeah. of, of testing. We deliver, we don't deliver, deliver just one, but three options yeah. for in general. Mm -hmm. And then the agency listens to that and maybe make some correction. And then the, the client, client hears the three first and the first three. And yeah. then they kind of choose one and we, we, we will narrow the path until we get there. But yeah, it's um, just like yeah. a design agency, right? Yeah. 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 But it's the same, same kind of process. Like and same it's surprisingly, process. yeah, surprisingly design agencies aren't doing as much testing as you would hope that they would be doing. Testing one logo design versus another logo design and getting focus group testing. Yeah. Most often it is the creative team that's creating yeah. the logo and the client approving yeah. the, the the finished work. And it sounds like it's not different with the audio branding. I could see, I think you, Mao alluded to this, where if it's part of the full ad, that bigger agencies are going to test one ad versus another ad yeah. before they go and spend money on putting it in front of the Super Bowl at, in exactly. February every year before they spend the millions of dollars there. Hmm. And your your work will be part of that 
overall ad that was tested, tested so to speak. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But in this in this case, music is so uh, depending on who listens to it, it's not very concre concrete, right? So testing gives the the yeah. uh, would would give the 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 hard um, I don't know. It's hard to say if some music is good or bad. It's just if you like it or not. But maybe with these measurements, it's more like does it uh, so achieve the yeah the the goal? Because in every sound communication, you have you have a goal, you know, something to communicate. Is it memorable? Yeah. Oh, you know, also, yeah. The, you know that's that's the whole always the need. We need to have a little hit. Yeah. You know? We need to people to remember us. So we need to create a, yeah. a memorable yeah. hook. Yeah. Always, always, always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. So is it good or bad? That is a subjective thing. And it's just like music because Black Sabbath is good. It's great. Right. It's great right. music, but it's not for everybody. Yeah. Taylor mm -hmm. Swift is good. It's great music, but it's not for everybody. And both of the people who who like one or the other examples of that, a Black Sabbath loving person and a Taylor Swift loving person, exactly. they may, they both need to bank. And they, they buy because your shampoo. jingle doesn't go to <laughs> one or the other, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't, it shouldn't be based on what the customer is going to like. It should be based more on what represents the brand properly, yep. not exactly. the preference of the, the musical preference of the customer. Exactly. Exactly. Besides, what we do yeah. is designed for to to fulfill a purpose, right? We need yeah. to be distinctive yeah. of representing this brand. It you can't do it. You can't use uh, music that is been done before. You know the purpose you are willing to fulfill. I don't know if I'm I'm yeah. expressing this correctly. I mean. If we yeah. want to sell a you know a, a cookie commercial, for example, right? So yeah. I could use a stock music, of course, to fill the void of silence, right? But if I create a distinctive melody that represents maybe the name of the brand of the cookie, your next ad, you can build upon that. So now you have a distinctive asset that people links in, in, in link it to your product, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. You have more people mm -hmm. singing about your cookie where, wherever. In, and if you create, yeah. uh, for example, an experience between the maybe the crunch of when that noise that makes when you bite yeah. the cookie and you use that to yeah. create this distinctive uh, branded asset for your brand, now you are creating yeah. an experience, right? And that's how yeah. you create yeah. a, a, a strong brand. Yeah, yeah. It's so really it's, great. It's, um, it's kind of... I want to uh, say it was either... <laughs> yeah. Is it Cheetos or Doritos that does that? I think it's Doritos chips that when you crunch it, it's <laughs> crunch. Yeah. yeah, it's part of their audio branding, that crunch yeah. you, sound. Did you know, <laughs> did you know yeah. that that sound is actually being designed by yeah. the product designers? Yeah, well, they I never thought the much product about product that, but crunch. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, the, the, the yeah how many versions of that crunch <laughs> did the audio branding agency make? <laughs> right? Uh, a couple of bugs. I think I would uh, work big bugs, like two. We actually they had a well, Yeah, they would have. <laughs> yeah. We had a, but we had if you case. were going to do that project, if you were going to do the Doritos <laughs> branding, how many versions would you make? Three, seven, 20? How many versions of crunching a chip would you test for yourselves before you land okay. on the for three that you would present to the client for yeah. ourselves endless yeah I'm at thir 30 <laughs> 40 I know, endless. I know. endless endless well I, yeah. yeah we probably do like a recording session and we are probably gonna eat a third of the bag of chips each of us just <laughs> what's recording. that, yeah. what's yeah, that just number <laughs> why just, <laughs> just to have yeah. a different kinds of crunch and then you can even lay them on top of each other to have even like a bigger crunch 
If it's uh, spicy ones, I would go yeah. crunch. Woo. Also, <laughs> uh, regarding this this type of experience in the sound of the product, Coca Cola has like a like a circle of the sound experience. Like you open the can, it fizzles. You pour it, it yeah. fizzles a little bit more. You drink it, and you ah, yeah. have the the pleasure. The yeah. user experience. The user experience. Yeah. And they use that like uh, yeah. I don't know if in every ad, but every time they open a can, you will have the, the the can opening and the and the bubbles, and it's like yeah. a, it takes you it takes you there because when you actually are using the product, are drinking the Coca Cola, you are experiencing those same sounds. Yeah. We actually we actually did a yeah. case of of a Tex Mex restaurant in Chile, and and we recorded sounds with the menu items items yeah so we had mm. to eat doritos and, and yeah yeah at the end of, at the end of that day we ate burritos and it was yeah, cool we did. <laughs> you did? We, we we had all these ingredients and well let's make some tacos or something and it was cool i can yeah. send you a yeah. video of that <laughs> mauro yeah eating burritos do we'll put it on as b-roll <laughs> yes awesome. yeah. yeah 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 so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, it's about also it's also about being creative while solving problems. You know, it's like how how yeah. do we represent uh, uh, you know really weird concepts? I, now we are, for example, about weird projects. We are doing one. I'm not going to say names, <laughs> but we are doing okay. one for a public speaking uh, event that is going to happen now in June. Very, very well-known global uh, creativity related festival and mm -hmm. we got the craziest craziest brief we kind of had this uh, a challenge among ourselves about which is the craziest brief we we ever had and this mm -hmm. one is on top you know it's like we need to be sound therapy slash reggaeton slash cacophony cacophony slash Comedy. funny Com wow. comedy <laughs> slash <Which is> a... <laughs> flamenco uh, he asked for a flamenco at the end yeah and all these asmr really? uh, asmr yeah. resources yeah. also like uh, he speaks to the mic I see and and they uh, he, he yeah. kind of tickles your ears with because it's going so. to be a presentation with everybody is going to wear headphones. headphones so yeah. it's yeah it's it's, it's crazy it's crazy yeah. <laughs> It's 360 experience and wow. mixing a lot of, of different concepts. One of those calls <laughs> that when it ended, it was like, okay, now I got no idea what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Where did I get myself yeah. into? <laughs> yeah, but Sauer Are you? Has, did you finish yeah. that project already? He actually, uh, we yeah. sent that, him uh, first, uh, first draft. Uh, rough right now, right before this call, and he said, oh, I love it. Mm. <laughs> Which is great because yeah, we're, oh, we're, good. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we're <laughs> yeah. on track. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. one of the things about okay. um, oh. yeah, the, this medium. It's like a, it's all the time changing, and all the time it's a different genre, different brand, and that it, it keeps it, it, the, the momentum going. It keeps us entertained. It keeps us uh, being challenged all the time. Yeah, it's something that we really like. Yeah. And it's growing too, because so much of the world is going into video and audio yeah. content now. Um, podcasts, there are millions and millions of podcasts. There yeah. are millions of videos every single day being published. And so I think it's becoming more and more important as a branding touch point, this audio branding piece. Yes. yes. No, I, I would say, too, if you go back in time, you know, in the days of radio, before there was television, this audio branding was probably really important back then. But then we all got fixed on our eyeballs of watching mm -hmm. the thing and the importance in the mind of the consumer probably went down for many years. Not that it didn't exist, that audio branding wasn't a thing. It was still a thing. We still remember jingles from 20 exactly. years ago and 30 years ago. Yeah. But yeah, it, we was, are, we are it wasn't. Of the jingle. <laughs> yeah, we are definitely. Yeah, we, that's of what the we jingle, are. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, the yeah is, children uh, of the jingle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the brands uh, wouldn't own that space that had audio. They would go to the radio, then they would go to the TV, or maybe like on the opening of the movie theater. So it wouldn't be their yeah. space. Now they're actually owning a space that has audio. They got their social media, they got the yeah. web page, uh, they got uh, the makeup yeah. apps. Own media. Yeah. yeah. That's what marketing experts call and it. Something that we used to not have or we didn't have was speakers in our pockets all day. So <clears throat> it's really easy yes. to, you know, pop out from the screen and, <laughs> and you get yeah. the... We've been, we've been doing a lot of virtual wallets and digital companies, you know, digital products. Oh, that's interesting. You, you have a lot yeah. of audio, audio, audible touch points in there, notifications, and opportunities not yeah. just to convey a better experience for your users, but also to brand. You know, and to provide, yeah. Yeah, provide the yeah. information to the user uh, through uh, an audio piece that is on brand. Yeah, yeah. that's more on the yeah. <clears throat> audio design Good side because it's maybe not that musical but yeah we we actually we work on communication and what audio has the power to to do is to c provide information really quickly and maybe yeah really quickly maybe you're not looking at your phone but mm -hmm. your transaction was rejected and just by the sound yeah. and emotional communication things that yeah. are hard to communicate through words yeah you know, it's that's why yeah I, I, Western music is so effective, you know, it's like we we are very effective to convey emotion through, through music, which is crazy, yeah. but it's it, that's what you want yeah. to do. You want to create this emotional link. And yeah. it has no language border also because yeah. there are emotions. Yeah. They're global, yeah. Isn't it the best? I love that <laughs> about music. It's the, It's that... <laughs> That universal, it's the real universal language is yeah. music that speaks to the soul inside of us, exactly. not to our ears so much. You know, uh, I, love that. I love that. That's super powerful, music. man. That's super powerful. Tuning mm -hmm. in into the same frequency is crazy. You feel like part mm -hmm. of, of, of one, you know, it's like you're vibing in the same frequency. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is the same frequency because it is, you know, at the heart of it, it's all mathematics. There's, it's all mathematics at the heart of it yeah. that, that connect to certain frequencies inside of us or that the rhythm is all based on some mathematical equation and that's why it resonates with us. And when we break those, those mathematics, it sounds off to us. Yeah. You know, it's just that, and it feels off. I think it's so fascinating when we start looking at math emotions and music when we start looking at that combination of things yeah. it's a it's a whole crazy world that not many people pay attention to yeah so let's so so what we prepared here is well what what drop music branding team prepared is a little audio branding quiz that we all get to play along with together on specific audio branding things and whether we can guess what it's for or, or the branding was effective enough for us to remember the brand that it relates to or i maybe some of them are what type of company it would be or what type of brand it would be exactly exactly so why don't you what, gobble to tell tell us what we have tell us what you have planned and let's launch into it okay okay that's thanks thanks mike let's do this this is the audio logo quiz which is great what we are going to listen to first is some well-known, famous brands. So uh, to see if you can recall and recognize which brand is. And then we are going to yeah. step to phase two, where we are going to make you listen, Mike, uh, some of the audio logos we did, and you are, you are going to guess the industry, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm excited. We are going to throw you some curves I feel curves like I'm going to do really bad. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm going to do really bad on this quiz. So let, let, let's, okay, okay. let's hear it. Let's, let's start <laughs> by, by an easy one. Let's listen to this one. Okay. Oh, she, easy. That's <laughs> the McDonald's one. Okay. Yeah. It's McDonald's. Yeah. You Jay, got your I'm burgers. loving it. It's the I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. McDonald's, <laughs> yes. 
Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm so, one for one. One, one from one. one. Great. Let's listen to yeah. this one. Let's see if you got if you had your your movies okay. Easy. <laughs> yeah, if you're into movies, but that's you don't easy. hear it very often anymore. But it's the THX. Yes. The THX. Exactly. Which is sound. I, I, yeah, I had to what give happened some... to THX? Is that a? Is it? It's a sound format that's not being used very much anymore. Like now, it's Dolby. Dolby. Cinema, yeah, Dolby. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dolby. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh, surround. Uh, yeah. The uh, what was the Atmos. 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 Oh, everything. Yeah. yeah. Dolby surround. Yeah. Dolby, Dolby Atmos. Atmos. That's what it yeah. is. Dolby Atmos. But yeah. I ca I have to give some points to to the distinctiveness of this audio logo. Yeah. I you don't have a melody. Oh, and it's, it's like so you good. already know. It 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 shows you it's how so how good. good is the audio. It it, yeah. it goes. I think while younger people wouldn't get it. I I, I mean younger no. younger. Okay, but so any of us who watched movies 20 years ago, yeah, yeah. when Absolutely. you hear that in the theater, oh yes, man, it was amazing. Like, now we're in it, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. proves itself. Right? That was because the perfect touch point. Yes. You, know? you were sitting down there, yeah. the lights went off, uh, and boom, the TH checks. Mm -hmm. This was wow, <laughs> it blows so my good. mind. <laughs> so good. So let's, let's yeah. travel into time towards this era and listen to this one. <laughs> Okay. No. Oh, I feel like it's like a <laughs> it's a chat notification of some kind. Okay, it's Is definitely it, a UX sound notification. Right? It's it's yeah. definitely it has these yeah. aesthetics of UX the, on on the sound. Yeah. This is the YouTube audio logo where you when you initiate YouTube. the app yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> it might have like three, four years old. Okay, it's quite new. It it just played when you start the app on your TV. That's the specific uh, touch point they're used. Uh, okay. Do you okay. want it to lo okay. listen yeah. to it okay. again? Yeah, let's hear it again. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a notification, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, but we are uh, nowadays that, um, a lot of brands are going that path like short and um, notification UX style exactly yeah. which leads me to this next one yeah. let's listen to this one okay this is a, a part of an oh. advertisement so you got some ambience there but let's go again yeah I heard somebody walking so there's something corporate about yeah, it exactly and this is also um, quite new maybe is this some from... kind of a bank client or something okay, okay. you're getting there yeah yeah yes it's a card it's a credit card company oh and for it's everything, a credit card company for is everything it Visa priceless? or american express or <laughs> it's mastercard mastercard this Which one is, is also MasterCard. quite new <laughs> the yep. one i didn't the one i didn't choose <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mastercard yeah it's okay. not not so well yeah, all right is, so now i'm two for Two, uh, two for four, four I'm right? I'm two for four. Okay, yes, okay. Two so for four. We are going to give uh, this last, uh, you know, famous brand uh, test. This is the last one. If you don't get it, you're, you're, um, you fail. <laughs> There's a couple of <laughs> I'm, I'm off the podcast. I don't, I don't want you to guys take over what the hell a, a, a rock and a hard place, but you know. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Wow. Do you wanna do you wanna listen oh, to it again? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> one more time. Yes, give it to me again. I should know this one. There's always somebody saying uh, something interesting behind this audio logo. It's not so easy. Okay, give it, I'm not going to get it right. I'm going to be off the podcast. <laughs> no, no one? problem. Play one more time and then tell uh, us. Let's, let's, let's go to another one. I'm going to give you a bonus one. That one, that one was TED Talks. Well, no. So I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to give and that one. It was one. TED Talks. Yeah, yeah, TED Talks. 
Not that I would have guessed that one, and I haven't been listening to a lot of TED Talks lately, so... I'm no, a, no, you can't can say, can say that. You can't say that. After I said it, okay. you say I was going to listen. No, no, man, come on. <laughs> so let's listen to this one. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is 20th Century Fox. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah, where I yeah. worked. <laughs> yeah. Okay, actually, worked you, there. you, <laughs> you yeah. only need to listen to this. Yeah, that's it. You already know. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I got it. Boom. <laughs> and you know Amazing. what's interesting? I think is that it it makes me think Star Wars so much. Exactly. Too. Like I don't know why that's so synonymous to me with Star yeah. Wars when I've seen so many other movies, but that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you hear the drums, and then the next thing I want to hear is the dun, da, da, dun, yes. the, the Star Wars yeah, intro yeah, exactly. coming yeah. right after that. It's and like yeah. very orchestral. You have the THX first, then the 20th Century yeah. Fox, and then the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and the movie. There you go. And then we're golden. Yeah. Like my whole childhood <laughs> comes back right there. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. we're, now, we're now going to listen to you. You passed, and we're going to give you the f phase one of the I audio quiz. I passed with 50%. Yeah, I yeah. got 50%. And, and the bonus. <laughs> yeah. So uh, okay. let's, li let's listen to the ones that we've done. These are basically the latest projects we've done. So you, you okay. need to guess what's the industry behind this audio logo. Okay. Okay, Let's go I'm going to go with some kind of banking okay. because you said that you said you're doing a lot of banks <laughs> right now. Is this no, a no. bank of some sort? You have to use your ears, <laughs> not your memory, man. Okay, no. have to use, okay. okay. <laughs> it's not a bank. It's, an, it's not a bank. That's it's not one a bank. clue. Let's, let's listen to it's it again. It's not a bank. Okay, I get it. A clue. One more time. Okay, you want me to get it so bad. <laughs> it's very hard for him because it's, if, it's you learn, hard, if you don't know hard. the brand, it's, well, it's very hard. Well, do but you, you can do guess. You... It, yes. Okay. It, I'm going to guess that it has something to do with some kind of one of their brand attributes might be speed of some kind because we have this kind of fast pace. Okay. Um, logo that it's or this fast-paced audio branding that that's coming in w what is it okay okay you actually uh, got it right on that aspect it's direct tv satellite it's tv provider satellite operator ah. right it's in all america and, okay and and the actual brief was to you in on mode right so there's a switch on the we needed to represent in in the visuals in the motion graphic so actually it's a, yeah. uh, it relied on the technical uh, aspect of the brand you know they are satellite and they're not yeah. cable right so yeah there's there's something yeah. there let's listen to this one yeah okay let's go to the next one okay okay Okay. Let's go. This again. has to be some kind of an app. Um, go again. Okay, let's go again. I'm ready. Yet. Yeah, this is some startup sound for some kind of an app. Um, it it sounds reminiscent of a streaming service app, but I'm gonna guess it's some kind of e-wallet application okay. because you guys mentioned that earlier too. Okay, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, it's a bank. It's a development bank from Central America. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> yeah you get it. <laughs> yeah. Which was the the yeah. funny note on this one is that we needed to. This is uh, the Central American. Uh, development bank it's called cave in english mm. and it's we needed to represent the whole region the region the people from that region you know central yeah. america it's happy people they are instrument national instrument yeah. of, of a lot of countries within central america is marimba 
which is a, a percussion wooden. Mm. It's like uh, a wooden xylophone. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mallet. Um, yeah. 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 So. Yeah. We needed to use mallets. It's also one of the tones on an iPhone. Yeah. It's one of the tones. Of course. One of the alarm mm -hmm. tones. Speaking and, yeah. about all your branding, yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, those guys are great. Yeah, <laughs> speaking of. <laughs> yeah, everybody in the restaurant knows you have an iPhone if you have it on sound on. Exactly. And yes, we needed to convey yeah. trust and happiness while and not... And culture. Yeah, and culture, which was uh, a nice... A nice yeah. brief. Yeah, it needed to have this Latin Central yeah, America vibe. Nice. And yeah, yeah we exactly. did some research because yeah. we are from Latin America, but not that high. We are more from, yeah. the, from the south. So we, we need to. Southern. Yeah, yeah we need to, to research. grab the books. <laughs> okay, let's go to the yeah, next one. It's awesome. Uh, what about this one, okay. Mike? We are getting boots on the ground here. <laughs> oh, this has got to be some kind of sports team or sporting event of some some kind. <laughs> I like Is that the way right? you it's think. a good it's guess. Wrong? It's a good <laughs> guess. It's not correct, but it could it be. It could be. It could be. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> this this one is small. All right, play it again. Okay, play let's again. let's go. Again. Okay, one more time. Okay, it's got some music in it, like it's like it's starting up a Michael Jackson song. Yeah. That first little beat in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What what is this? This one, one is a, a shopping center a chain in in, in in three countries in Chile, Colombia, and Peru. And yeah, they wanted mm -hmm. you know like big energy, high energy stomp. Uh, kind of vibe. Yeah. Which we we went for. Yeah. And also, <clears throat> the, the concept of yeah. a mall and a shopping mall, there's a lot of people and yeah, community. community and big yes. spaces. So the, the idea of Stomp was kind of, okay, there's the people is a factor and we need to represent yeah. Mucha people, people mucha playing people. many something. people. <laughs> yeah, per percussion. Mucha people. <laughs> yes. A percussion is something that everybody can do. Everybody can clap. Everybody can stomp. Everybody yeah. can tap their foot. Yeah, yeah. That that one is uh, a nice like that. strategy to yeah. be you, to have an yeah. audio logo that's yeah, replicable. That's you know, yeah. that people can can yeah. sing yeah. it. Uh, and this one is the hardest yeah. one. We left the, the hardest to the end. Okay. So if you guess this one, okay. I'm going to work free for you. <laughs> I win. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see. Let's what see we got. if you can do it. <laughs> okay. That one's very short. So I'm going to play it one more time. Okay, I'm I'm gonna guess it's some kind of a food product of some sort or a drink or something that somebody's satisfied, they have it and then they're satisfied and they're like the uh huh at the end. But, <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know. Am I wrong? I'm, I'm I'm wrong? wrong. Part I'm of it is is good because the idea of the aha uh -huh was that one to, to <laughs> It's I'm not good. working for free. Yeah, the, the, the how was meant to be like a yeah. This, it's, it's the so satisfaction. Good. Yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. it's yeah. the name. The brand name yeah. was Aha. It's Aha. A, it's a car insurance company from from Canada. 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 Yeah, oh. <laughs> that was weird. Oh. You know, for for uh -huh. them to ask um, a funky '70s audio logo for a car insurance company was a weird ask yeah. for us. It was like, yeah, what? The, the brand has <laughs> yeah. a, um, a character that it's named Frank, and Frank is the one that is giving the uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and, the, and the ads, uh -huh. it's like Frank doing stuff that he shouldn't be doing, but since he has the car insurance company, uh -huh, he's all good. He he's can do like, a, how he's do you cool say? Guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I, well, there was a reference with the... Uh, kind of a James Bond... Type yeah, but character. with the tiny um, puppets, that series. Mm. Uh, yeah, you remember that series that they would be like uh, special agents, that they were all puppets, that they would jump in these weird flying um, vehicles. The guys from, uh, from... They saved the world, right? Yeah, the, the guys from South Park did a movie uh, with using those puppets. 
I don't know if you remember. Oh, really? There would be an actor. Yeah, I missed it. No, I didn't see that it's one. It's a the really vintage yeah. series. The funny the, thing about this project. Yeah. Thunderbirds was yeah. the name ah, of the series. Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds, yeah. I think, was. Oh, Thunderbirds. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember. Yeah. There's a funny story about yeah. the, the voice we chose to say the uh-huh. We had a lot of voice talents. You mm -hmm. know, we paid them all and had this, all these samples. And then I, I, we have a friend uh, in common that he has a great voice and a great attitude. So he was at the studio and we said, would you record a aha uh -huh, like this and that? Uh -huh. And then the client chose him. So that, <laughs> that was, we really? were not expecting that. And yeah, yes. okay. actually we heard about. Uh, That's good. The, Could have saved up the talents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> it's better to to go to your friends. <laughs> okay, Mike. So go to your you, you, first. you did great. You it did costs, great. It costs less than. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we, did we paid him. I we paid fine. him. You know what? My <laughs> takeaway, though. My oh, that's good. <laughs> my takeaway on this is that branding is a whole package, and it isn't just the visuals. It's It isn't just the colors. It isn't just the logo. It isn't just the patterns. It isn't just the audio. It's the whole package yeah. of all of it blended together that conveys the message. And I think that a lot of people doing branding are leaving the audio piece as the afterthought that isn't considered, but they're focusing a lot on the visual mm -hmm. logo and the patterns and the colors and the typography and all those aspects of the design of this brand or the creation of this brand. And they're just leaving the audio part out there for somebody just to whoever yep. yeah. do the video editor to just throw a little sound bite on the yep. end of it. Yep. And it's, it needs to be more than that. That's one of my takeaways yep. yeah. exactly. from our conversation exactly. today. The, yeah. the, the hope yeah. is not to have a problem with the audio, you know, when the editor does it. And the really, the real opportunity yeah. here is to be distinctive and remembered. You know, it's like you have this tool, you yeah. are miss uh, missing the opportunity, basically. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, guys, thank you for being on this episode of What the Helvetica. It was super fun learning about audio branding and, and chatting with you and doing the quiz. It was all super fun. Appreciate you, Gabo and Dal and Mao. Thank you for being on and contributing such great thoughts. You can find them at dropmusicbranding.com and at dropmusicbranding on Instagram. And we're gonna drop your links and all your info into the show notes on wherever you're listening to this. So feel free to reach out to these guys. Super great, super fun niche. Every designer, creative branding strategist, brander should be thinking about audio branding as part of the package that you're creating for your clients. So I hope everybody got that as a good takeaway. And thanks a lot. We'll see you all next time on What the Helvetica.